So we also have this little first aid kit um, and it just has uh, just a towel, some little band-aids and another little towel to clean and a bigger band-aid for the boogers. Neosporin, so this is a triple antibiotic, but some kids are allergic to neomycin, so you want to ask your doctor if it's okay to use triple antibiotic as opposed to just bacitracin. And some stickers to make people feel better. And a little pad, honestly, I could have put this together myself. I have one in my can, I have one here. Um, but we have a bigger first aid kit as well. All right, so other components, other things to have in your um, in your little medication cabin. I got this, we never used it. My sister-in-law gave this to us. Uh, you can be able to give a baby that medication in there and give it to them the way, um, like a bottle feed. So that's a little something made by Matchkins out there. Um, always have a suction. I always encourage you to keep the one that you get from the hospital if you can get two So you have one to go and one in the home um, Always get two because these others for some reason that suction we had that was best and I'll talk about suctions um, Was the one we got from the hospital. I bought a couple others and they were not as good And then the other thing you need is a thermometer. So we have two because we had this safety first um that had you know a thermometer of its own um, but then for some I don't know there's a time I couldn't find it <laughs> so we bought one and you can have one that's temporal um, sometimes those are easier to deal with this one um, I liked it because it can it's it can also be rectal it's not rigid you can use it under the arm or rectal and um, it, you can also connect it to your phone um, so and to tell you happy face, sad face with the baby. Well, I need more batteries for this one clearly, and I should do that because the day you need it, you don't want to be fidgeting finding batteries. Yeah. So those are some of the things we have in our medication um, basket. And this, it's basically just a dropper. So you squeeze and then you release. And if you see, you have to make sure that it has reached that that line. Well, mine hasn't fully reached, but that one ml, that's what the pediatrician recommended for us. So, and you might have other instructions that are different from ours. But, um, so some people will choose the brand based on like there's a smaller volume to be taken, um, than you know, Infamil, for example. So, there's other brands out there, do some more research, and yeah. So, um, Pedialyte. Pedialyte, if the baby is having diarrhea, always consult with your doctor. If it's because it's very easy for the baby to get dehydrated and that's what causes problems. And um, they will advise when to use Pedialyte. Don't just use it, don't assume and start to use. Only use when the baby, if the doctor advises, right? So, yeah, so this initially Pedialyte, I, I'll show you. Uh, there's a little video that you see. Um, that shows the one I got. Um, initially, I got that big bottle and it was such a waste. So I decided to get these packs because they're always sealed. You only make 16 ounces in one pack and use it for 24 hours. If anything remains, just dump it, dump the rest. Um, so it, it for me, it was more economical because I only use what I need. And this has a pack of what, of six? yeah so that's 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 basically a video light and you see the other but this is when you're having diarrhea and if the pediatrician says okay to give this and but count how many motions um make sure the bottles are clean and you're washing your hands when you're preparing the baby's food okay for breastfed babies your your doctor will let you know about vitamin d breast milk does not have vitamin d that's the one nutrient that you need to supplement your child with and it's important in bone growth as they develop their bones you know babies are growing rapidly 
so we chose ephemeral and there are other, so many all these non um little remedies has a brand of vitamin d like there's different brands but we chose ephemeral um and it's it's a nasty yucky taste but the babies had to have it because i was breastfeeding and then when i graduated to formula then i didn't need it because formula has vitamin d but uh, when we're doing our exclusive breastfeeding i had to use this to help with the baby bone growth yeah so that's just an item out there um you choose some have a smaller volume so it's easier depending on if your babies are good at taking medication or not So for cough, because sometimes when the cold resolves, for some reason they end up having this cough, or sometimes they have like post nasal drip and it gives them this cough. Anyway, for cough, we still used Mother's Bliss, which is homeopathic, and they they had a set of two, so we had one for daytime and one for nighttime, and we realized that that helped uh, with the baby sleeping when you actually gave it to them. Um, um, my pediatrician really did not have anything strongly to say she said if it helps you use it you know but um she had she had her own reasoning behind um, most of these over-the-counter medications but she said if it it's not harmful use it if it helps with the baby and for us it helps so these are the brands we used we did not use zabies until natalie was after 12 was like 12 months or older um, and I think the reason we were told, and I'm not so sure because I, I did not read it myself, was that B component, because you, you're not allowed to give babies honey until the, until after 12 months. So we just stayed off Zabies, even if it's one of the good children's brands, and we just kept with Mother's Bliss, and when she was older, we used Zabies. So that was our, our managing our cough, that's what we used, and of course we laid hands on her and prayed, <laughs> and God healed So that's little remedies, gas relief for those newborn babies with a lot of gas. Um, you know, there's a bunch. We also had used mother's bliss, but uh, for many mother's bliss didn't help. So we ended up getting this one. And little remedies also has like a homeopathic one that doesn't have semepicon. Um, but they all, but we chose particularly little remedies with semepicon for Nene because the homeopathic mother's bliss or little remedies did not help us and so that was helpful and I think you can read the instructions on how to um, keep the baby behind and then um, that is a particular tiny syringe it has marks of 0 0.3 0 0.6 and uh, the clear instructions there so it's 20 milligrams um, in there uh, 20 milligrams there's mepicon emulsion they give you the milligrams and per, um i think per ml 0 0.3 active ingredients they kind of give you all the instructions how many doses in there so just read but before you give your baby anything always ask your pediatrician so constipation we had an issue with natalie when winter came she was not as active and also because she stays in a daycare sometimes we don't have control of how much prompting um she need you know she needs to drink water drink water she doesn't like it so we kind of have to really get creative but these are some of the things we used when she was a baby baby we used mother's please they have this constipation um constipation with ease uh, prebiotic so we had that in there and it helped when she was a baby but i think the main base um part of it so they, they, these guys are uh, those are their active ingredients but yeah when she was a baby baby we used this and that helped because she had started formula and formula somehow constipated her when she grew a little older for some reason she went to this oral anal phase where she was holding on to the poo, poo and not being as active as she usually is in the winter so we resumed we resorted to um to prunes and we get plums um beech nut prunes only and even gaba has prune and apple 
um, that works pretty well. And Gapa these days has organic um, organic brands because we try to go that route, yeah. Um, but then it got so bad, like, because you know, by day three, if the child hasn't gone, you really need to reach out to your pediatrician. And we did reach out to our pediatrician. She was a little older. It was after 12 months. She was more than a year at this point. Doctor, our pediatrician did recommend for us to do Mary Lux and to give half of the dose. And I'll show you how this works. So for the Mary Lux, that's how the bottle is. It looks like that at the top. And in here, if you are able to see, there's a line. And that line is the point at which the 17 i don't know if you're able to see the one seven 17 gram mark is so if you see where it overlaps that's half of it so the baby um for natalie we had to do that lower line and um add it to her juice her water we would do half juice half water because she refused to drink her water and we were getting desperate so we did that but if i encourage you to start um if the baby is active if the baby is active if they're drinking their water they should not be having um constipation issues but kids you know because nene, nene can go like four times a day it's crazy yet with natalie we struggle these days she's more regular with side potty training and that helps but before when we needed a little help we asked our pediatrician and you should have commented you know um we let her know about this over the counter and then the prunes and when it got worse she recommended this okay that's constipation okay so about tiny colds every now and then our babies do get sick and feel unwell from colds common colds most of our common colds we have a viral unless you know sometimes they get bacterial and then you need an antibiotic always consult with your pediatrician before giving the baby anything but for us this is what we used um, they're called Highlands. Um, they do have um, natural relief, homeopathic. Um, there's the daytime and nighttime. And you can look at the back of these. So this is the one for babies. And this is the one for children. So we have both, as you can see, 2 to 12. Because one of our children is 2 and a half. And the other is just um, 15 months. So that's why we have a bit of both and this is how these bottles look and each of them has a syringe and you can wash and reuse that syringe and yeah this is how the ones in here look so there's one that i'd also bought separately um but still it's really the same thing when i was looking six months and above just branding when i was looking at the active ingredients they don't really give how much of everything but those are the active ingredients they have in there um, I know it did give us, like both our kids, when we used it on Natalie and Nene, it worked. They had relief, and so we just continued buying um, for the times we were feeling unwell. And I always just have extra on stock for the days we need it. All right, that's colds for you, this particular brand. And I'll talk about um, how to decongest um, their nasals. So for all the medications, by default, I always look for the active ingredient, and in this one is acetaminophen, 160 milligrams per 5 ml, and they usually, most of these have like um, an instruction at the back of the box with the active ingredients. Um, for most of these, they always let you ask your pediatrician. Incidentally, um, which I have just realized right now, the one for 2 and 11 is also 160 milligrams per 5 ml. But I think because parents used to overdose, they kind of um, just make one less. And even just the accident of kids overdosing. So keep all the medication away from children, locked up, away from their level. But as you can see, this is the one for the infants. They give you a syringe. And, you know, as you can tell from the pounds, so if the baby is just zero to three months it's 1.25 and we have a 1.25 line if the baby is 12 to, you know 17 pounds and they they could be within that pound range or they're within those months 2.5 you see that 2.5 line like that 
and then for the older kids which is here children Tylenol they start with 5 ml 7.5 and all that uh, depending on the age as you can see and the weight so that's the one that is bigger and it has a cup instead of a syringe okay and so for the motrin as you can see that's the syringe and the syringe um the syringe also has an inscription 1.875 1.25 and 0 0.625 and it will tell you per pound how much to give so our pedi pediatrician said don't give before six months and as you can see zero to five months nothing six to eleven one point two five you come to your syringe and you look and see one point two five right and um so with this one the active ingredient like we said is ibuprofen 50 milligrams it's an NSAID, which means you need to feed the baby before you give it to them. Even as an adult, do not take ibuprofen before you eat something because then you're standing at risk of having peptic ulcers, which we don't want for you or the baby. Yeah, so ibuprofen, um, I have not used with my kids, thank God, I haven't needed it. As you can see, all these are still new and sealed. The kids have been healthy. I, I continue to cover them under the blood of Jesus that so they'll stay healthy um, but parents say this is really good when kids are teething like a six six months and more sometimes because it's an inflammatory process this is usually a good one Tylenol is very good with fevers and pain aches and pains fevers it's really good but like I said everything ask your pediatrician so this is our pain section, pain section, even for teething babies, because that's a, when there's discomfort. You know, um, we, I'm going to show you another product called Camilla, which is what we use. There's so many other products out there, but that helped us. And um, so we would use that topically. And then um, before this one kicks in, you give this one. And while it's kicking in, we'll put the topical one on, on the gums. Right, that's for pain. So for pain medication, any medication, always ask your pediatrician, even if you are a nurse, you are a healthcare provider, always impart your physician's directions. Our pediatrician gave us this list to follow, and um, that is for acetaminophen, Tylenol is the brand name, and this is for ibuprofen, Motrin is the brand name. She strongly said no Motrin before the baby turns uh, six months. This is how the this is how they look for Tylenol there's two kinds there's one for infants which you're seeing right there and then there's one for um, two years and above okay yeah so for teething what we used was this Camilla it's homeopathic and we also use Tylenol so once you kind of troubleshoot the baby's is, is fed their diapers change they are safe but they are still irritable and it's around the time that the teeth are coming out we would give this first always ask your doctor that's one thing for sure but what we did would give the Tylenol first and then we'll just put this topically just to relieve because it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for this one to kick in so we would get one of these Camillas you just um, get one break off and then kind of just put along the gum it soothes that it soothes, it soothes the baby so they come down the other thing we had talked about were these if you remember in our video before when where you can have people winning the video about winning um you can also put frozen breast milk in there in here and just have the baby kind of just nibble at it it can be so soothing of fruit and same with this just a different kind that can also be a way to help with a teething baby all right thank you